entry right away. Thank you. Let's stand as we take first the national anthem, followed quickly by the new university anthem. Thank you. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, apologies for making you stand for so long. I think the technologies are booting. Just a little patience. Thank you.
attention. Please, let's take the national anthem to the, to the count of three. One, two, three, go. Arise, O oh compatriots, Nigeria's call obey to serve our fatherland with love and strength and faith the labor of our heroes past shall never be in vain to serve with heart and might one nation bound in Caleb University Anthem, please. Hail the institution brave, so brave and full of faith. For God and for humanity and awesome diversity, there is peace within its walls. And joy and blessedness for our Lord is stocks with love and faithfulness. For the good Lord is our strength, our song and salvation. Divine wisdom is thy breath. Our shield and solution, of the great institutions, Caleb, citadel of knowledge, great and brave, Caleb, for one and for all. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we are grateful unto you. We thank you for the love you have for us. We thank you for the arrangement that has been made by your power, by your might. We are grateful unto you for such a day like this. We thank you for our parents that have sent their words into this institution that are graduating today. We worship your name for the life of these graduates. We thank you, Lord, for everything they've learned where we are here. Father, we are looking up to you that this ceremony will be God glorifying in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray to you, Lord, every aspect of this ceremony, let your name alone be glorified. Thank you, Father, for the answer. Jesus mighty name we pray thank you very much sir please let's be seated thank you your excellencies members of the national assembly Honorable Ministers, Members of the State House of Assembly, Honorable Commissioners, the Proprietor of the University, Your Royal Majesties and Highnesses, the Chancellor Designate, the Chairman Board of Trustees, the Pro-Chancellor and Chairman of Governing Council, 
members of the governing council, members of the Senate, my Lord Spiritual Temporal, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Section 4, subsection 1E of the Caleb, law, Caleb University Law 2007 provides that for the purpose of carrying out the objects of the institution, Caleb University shall have the powers to hold examination and award degrees, diplomas, certificates, and other distinctions to persons who have pursued courses of study approved by the university. Section 4, subsection 1F also states that the university shall have powers to grant honorary degrees, fellowship, or other academic titles. Section 4, subsection 1C also states that universities shall have powers to institute and award fellowships, scholarships, bursaries, medals, and other titles, distinctions, awards, and other forms of assistance for which purpose a convocation for the conferment of degrees and other academic titles and distinctions of the university shall be held normally once every year, at such time and place as shall be determined by the Senate. The degrees, academic titles, and distinctions shall be conferred by the person presiding. Caleb University Law, Section 4, Subsection 81, stipulates that the Chancellor shall, in relation to the university, take precedence over all other members of the university, and when he is present, shall preside at all meetings of convocation held for the purpose of conferring degrees. Also, the Pro Chancellor shall, in relation to the university, take precedence over all members of the university, except the Chancellor or Vice Chancellor when acting as Chairman of Convocation. I hereby call on the Vice Chancellor, Professor Nosa Owens Ebe, to constitute this assembly as a convocation for the conferment of honorary doctorate degree on the Chancellor designate. Should be understated. By the authority vested in me by Section 4, Subsection 8.1 of the Caleb University Law 2007. I hereby constitute this assembly as a convocation for the purpose of conferring honorary doctorate degree on the chancellor designate. Vice Chancellor, sir, section four, subsection one F of the Caleb University Law 2007 gives the university the power to confer honorary degrees, fellowships, or other academic titles. In line with the above, the Governing Council and the Senate of Caleb University have resolved that the honorary degree of Doctor of Science, Political Strategy and Development, Honoris Causa, be conferred on the Chancellor Designate, Chief Doctor Edwin K. Clark, OFRCON. I therefore call upon the Vice Chancellor to confer the degree of Doctor of Science in Political Strategy and Development. DSC Honoris Causa of the University with the rights and privileges attached thereto. May I call on the University Orator, Dr. Charles Nwanchiku, to present the Chancellor designates for the award. Uh, the Vice Chancellor, sir, all protocols duly observed. I have a short citation for the new chancellor, and with your permission, sir, I will go ahead and deliver it now. Chief Edwin Kiagodo Clark is a phenomenon that cannot be satisfactorily presented in one single episode. Therefore, I want to believe that this one will constitute episode number one, and subsequently, as he gets celebrated and honored, there will be subsequent episodes. Born in May 25, 1927, Chief Clark is a nationalist, an educationist, a legal luminary, a humanist, an activist, a crusader, a philanthropist, and of course, a politician. Chief Clark delved into political activism quite early in his life, becoming a counselor at a very tender age. 
he would proceed from there to become a school teacher and then a headmaster before traveling to the United Kingdom to study law. During his undergraduate days at the university, he served as secretary of the Zikist movement. Upon returning to Nigeria, Chief Clark became an active member of the NCNC. He also used his knowledge of law as a tool for emancipation and social justice. He also used that to propagate his philosophy of fairness to all human beings. When it comes to speaking truth to power, he stood as a towering giant and still stands as one. To all, during the 1966 coup, he condemned the excesses and remained neutral. He criticized the military government of General Gowan, even though the same government was to later appoint him Minister of Information. 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 This information. to argue against bad governance and corruption. It did not matter, we spared no regime at all. In, 19, in 2005, Chief Clark, who was representing the South-South at the National Political Forum convened by General Obasanjo, walked out of the House when his proposal for an increase of the derivation fund from 18 to 25 percent appeared to be politicized by the other members of the conference. In President Jonathan's National Conference, he was an outstanding leader, and he worked indefatigably for the success of that conference. Chief Edwin Clark also established the Edwin Clark University in Kiagodo, which he founded as a testimony to the, his passion for good and functional education. Without a modicum of doubt, this is a man who, incomparably, who is incomparably committed to justice for the job people, as well as peace, progress, and prosperity for Nigeria. At 93, Chief Edwin Clark is not a story about to end, but an enigma who continues to reinvent himself and to unfold. May God grant him good health and very long life as he continues to champion the cause of Nigeria and Nigerians. The Vice Chancellor, sir, I hereby humbly present to you Chief Edwin Clark for the confirmation of honorary degree, sir. Thank you. By the authority vested in me as the Vice Chancellor, and in accordance with the provision of the Caleb University law, I confer on you the degree of Doctor of Science in Political Strategy and Development, DSC Honoris Causa of Caleb University, with the rights and the privileges attached thereto. I admit you all, by the authority vested in me. Chairman, University Board of Trustees, Pro-Chancellor, other protocols duly extended. Caleb University Section 2, Subsection 1, provides for the office of the Chancellor as follows. The University shall have a Chancellor who shall take precedence before all other members of the University, and when he is present, shall preside at all meetings of convocation held for conferring degrees, diplomas, and certificates and awards. Section 5.2, subsection 1.2 of the same first schedule to the law further provides that the chancellor, who shall be a distinguished person in the society, shall ensure that the university remains focused on its mission. 
Section 4, subsection 25 provides that the Chancellor shall be appointed by the University Board of Trustees. The University Board of Trustees appointed Chief Dr. Edwin K. Clark, OFRCON, to this position. Today is to be formally installed. I thereby call on the Chairman, University Board of Trustees, to formally install the Chancellor and present him with his instrument of office. Professor Peter Akinshola Okebukola, OFR. I, Professor Peter Akinshola Okebukola, OFR, uh, the Chairman, University Board of Trustees. To confirm that you, Chief Dr. Edwin E. K. Edwin K. Clark, OFR, CON, has been duly appointed by the University Board of Trustees in accordance with the powers conferred by the university law. And I have the greatest pleasure to formally install you as the Chief Law in Jesus' name. I promise to perform my duty. I promise to perform my duty as Chancellor of Kelly University, Lagos. I promise to perform my duty faithfully and diligently as Chancellor of Kelly University, Lagos. I promise to perform my duty. Now that Chief Dr. Edwin K. Clark, OFR, CON, has been installed as the Chancellor of the University, I now respectfully call on the Vice Chancellor, Professor Nusa Owens Ebil, to formally pledge the loyalty of the University and support of the University to the Chancellor. Hi. Professor Nusa Owens Ibia, Vice Chancellor of the University, we pledge to you, our worthy Chancellor, Chief Dr. Edwin Clark, carefully invite you as the Chancellor to preside over this assembly in accordance with Section 4, Subsection 16. Consider Law, Subsection 4, Subsection 81. Stipulates that the Chancellor shall, in relation to the University, take precedence over all other members of the University and when he is present, shall preside at all meetings of convocation held for the purpose of conferring degrees. Also, the Pro Chancellor shall, in relation to the University, take precedence over all members of the University except the Chancellor or Vice Chancellor when acting as Chairman of Convocation. I hereby call upon the Chancellor. Chief Dr. Edwin K. Clark, OFRCON, DSC Honoris Causa, to constitute this assembly as a convocation for the purpose of conferring postgraduate degrees and diploma, first degrees, and presentation of prizes.
I respectfully invite the Vice Chancellor, Professor Nusa. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. For his mercies and your forever. Amen. For his mercies and your forever. Amen. All protocols duly is our tenth convocation and I call it 10 times better, but just starting. God has been good to us in Caleb University. A number of things have happened which we can only give all the glory to God for. For instance, it is this year crossing the 1,000 mark. In 2017, we have 409. In 2018, we have 477. In 2019, we have 733. And this year, we are having 1,158. Of that number, we have 44 first class and 27 distinctions. And it is something that is marvelous in our eyes. Our overall best graduating student, Goshen Mitiu of Biochemistry, has a CGPA of 4.90. But at the master's degree level, we have two who tie for the overall best graduating students at that level. We have Odidile, and we have uh, Lawa, the two of them. And they have 4.98 CGPA. I want to acknowledge specially and to thank God that we are having the very highly respected Chief Dr. Edwin Clark as our new Chancellor. He's a statesman, and we thank God for his life. We have to thank especially our proprietor, Dr. Prince Oladega Adelowo Adebogun. We thank our chairman of board of trustees, Professor Peter Okebukola. We thank our pro chancellor, Professor Folatayo, and all the council, all the board of trustees and council members, and the entire staff, students, and the various stakeholders in Caleb University. When the coronavirus pandemic broke, we were on the break. But between the time that it broke and April 14, which was our resumption time, we were able to get an Ill, a, a learning management system that worked. And to the glory of God, we had the um, second semester run online, and it was a new experience for us. We thank God because we successfully completed, and we are here today because we successfully completed that uh, semester. We want to thank God because the also afforded us an opportunity to engage with our community. Because on April 10, we were able to 
distribute palliatives to 3,000 residents of our immediate community of Imota. And by July 10 to 16, we were able to produce, I mean, and distribute branded face masks and sanitizers to five immediate communities of Imota, Abawa, ECU, Adamo, and Ikorodu. We want to thank God because the physical development of the university has been remarkable. We have new structures. For instance, the Professor Ido uh, School of Communication and Media Studies. We have new roads. We have the bank. We have others that are on ground. And this has also been a period where our partnerships have been seriously enhanced. IBM, as part of the social, corporate social responsibility, is in collaboration with Caleb University. Stambic IBTC is helping our business transformation. We are having a collaboration with MMAC by GMAT on our postgraduate studies. There are many more. One of the remarkable things we have done is that from now, Caleb University students a graduation requirement is IT certification. And already, we are ready to start. We have two new mobile applications that are on Google Play Store. Caleb Watch, which is a health and security watch, and Caleb Connect, which is for our parents and for our alumni. We have different things that are happening in the university. But we want to thank God because he is the one who has helped us now. And we know by his grace he will continue to help us. I want to congratulate the graduates because today is your day, it's our day. And my prayer is that God in his mercy will bless you and will enlarge your coast, will make you a generational blessing. And that wherever you go, God will go with you. We want to thank our parents because our parents have been there for us. Our stakeholders have been there for us. We appreciate your investment in Caleb University. Right now, Caleb University is highly sought after. And we want to assure as many as who bring their children here that we will continue to ensure that your students get the best in academic development and character. God bless you. God bless our convocation lecturer. God bless every one of you. It's well. I respectfully, I respect Ulusho Gabadejo to address the convocation. Present this address on behalf of Professor Fala, who is the chairman of the Council of Caleb University. The founder, Dr. Oladega Adelowo Adebogun, the Executive Secretary of the National Universities Commission, the chairman. Board of Trustees, Caleb University Professor Peter Okebukola, the Vice Chancellor and members of Senate, management and staff of Caleb University, the graduating students, their parents, invited guests, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and members of the press. I feel highly delighted, though, and on behalf of the Governing Council, of this citadel of learning to welcome you all to this distinguished ladies and gentlemen to this auspicious occasion. The 10th convocation ceremony of Africa's best university, private university in research and entrepreneurship development. Kindly join me in welcoming especially the visitor to the university, Dr. Oladega. Adelowo Adebogun, 
the chairman of board of trustees, Professor Peter Okebukola, and the chancellor designate, Chief Dr. Edwin Clark, and all royal fathers to this solemn occasion. I want to specially congratulate the, uh, our Chancellor designate in person of Chief Dr. Edwin Clark, who is a distinguished Nigerian, an elder statesman, a legal luminary, a politician, and a philanthropist of note. I want to specially congratulate you on this occasion of your installation as the Chancellor of this university. And I pray that it shall be well with you continually. As the Pro Chancellor of Caleb University, I am so proud of the monumental achievements of the institution. The infrastructure has increased greatly since inception. Quality of research is on the increase. Staff and students staff, well-equipped library with current and relevant books and journals for both. All courses run at the, at the university are fully approved and accredited by the National Universities Commission. Though, through dint of today, through dint of through the private universities of choice for both candidates seeking university education. I have been particularly thrilled by the university's community's engagement. We have the coronavirus pandemic hit that hit the world. Distributed food stuff and other relief materials to 3,000 Agoa and Isiu through their traditional and community leaders and directly to members of the public from 16 2020. The university rehabilitated and renovated Methodist Primary School in Mota. The executive chairman in Mota Local Council Development Area, Honorable Wasi Ukule Agoro, applauded this gesture as heartwarming. The university also donated cash and other gifts to Agboa General Hospital with Club 2 and Moshu Dabiola Polytechnic approval of MPhil and PhD program to commence a number of programs starting with law program. Though the task ahead to make the university first among the calls is a very challenging one. The current management led by the Vice Chancellor Professor Nosao Weibens is determined to leave Caleb University better than the method. I wish to congratulate the graduating staff to coming graduate to stand out in the society and to compete favorably in the new challenges posed by COVID-19. Also worthy of mention is the parents who have provided the necessary financial and moral support to the students during their studies. The current rating of the institution by all visiting and accrediting bodies is very encouraging and heartwarming. I want to report that despite the challenge posed by COVID-19, which affected the smooth running of institutions of learning around the globe, Management of Caleb University through the active support of the visitor, the board, the council and senate have been, a, have been able to set up this online learning platform where students were offered seamless and uninterrupted learning at all levels which made today's graduation possible. Let me at this juncture thank the visitor and proprietor of the university, Dr. Oladega Adibogun for his unwavering financial and moral support by supporting all the various projects and developmental initiatives of the institution, which has led to value addition to students in particular and to the university community in general. Congratulations to you all. To, to all the graduating students, I want to congratulate you for this wonderful feat you have attained, and it shall be well with you. I also want to congratulate our parents for supporting this body endeavor. I want to say thank you for honoring us with your presence. As you embark on your journey back to your various destinations, I wish you God's protection. Thank you, and God bless you all. Convocation lecture. I now call on the university orator, Dr. Charles Nwanchiku, 
to present the citation of the convocation lecturer of today, Mrs. Fola Shade Omobola Adefisayo, Honorable Commissioner, Ministry of Education. The Vice Chancellor, sir, all protocols duly observed. The founder. Uh, it is my pleasure to present a brief citation on our convocation lecture of today. In some ways, today is historic, and one of the histories being made today is that for the very first time in the life of this university, we're having a great and admirable member of the female gender who would be giving the convocation lecture. On that note, let me quickly give the citation is the Honorable Commissioner of Education in Lagos State. That much we all know, but there is much that you do not know about this woman. International trade and education. As a matter of fact, her experiences in banking, human relations and international trade only succeeded in preparing her for her ultimate passion, which is education consultancy. Mrs. Adefisayo served as executive director slash CEO of Corona School Trust Council for over eight years. After leaving in 2010, she became a voluntary director of the Corona Secondary School at Barra from Edge, leading Edge indeed. This outfit has provided consultancy services for partners. partners. Her professional areas of focus include teacher training, leader training, and she made patriot and an education activist volunteered to work with the Lagos or your and or Shu state governments to turn around the educational system in those states. A firm believer in the true values of humanity, she is dedicated to improving the lives of other people. This has seen her volunteer to work for such NGOs as the Federal Nigerian Society for the Blind, the Faith Foundation, Junior Achievement, Volunteer Corps, YETDI, Teach for Nigeria, the Owando Foundation, Swate Talks, and a whole lot more. Sorry, you know. Yeah. Um, I can go on without it. Thank you. As a university scholar at the University of Ibadan, Mrs. Fola Shade was a proud recipient of the Federal Government Merit Award. In her quest to become a professional and certified educationist, she registered online for programs of the University of Nottingham, England, and she graduated with distinctions in both the diploma and master's levels. Apart from fixing our educational system, hardly any country outside Africa to you, the convocation lecturer for today, Mrs. Adefisayo, the Honorable Commissioner of Education, Lagos State. Please welcome her. Thank you very much. The Immortal Lagos, the Executive Secretary, National Union, and members of Council of Caleb University, the Vice Chairman, dear parents, Invited guests, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen of the press, welcome. First, I must thank uh, the management of Caleb University for considering me worthy to address the graduating class of 2020 on this auspicious day and occasion. This class is graduating at such an interesting time and deserve to be saluted for the unusual circumstances because in adversity, we can bring to the fore our courage, tenacity, creativity, purpose, and of course, innovation. That is why I consider this topic to your education ad innovation most appropriate. And in this address, we'll talk directly to each one of you, the graduating. You must create a life for yourself that you can be proud of. We know the times are trying. According to the World Health Organization, as of 23rd of September 2020, there were over 31.3 million confirmed cases of COVID-19, 
epidemic and over 966,000 confirmed by 1,000 deaths. According to Dr. Salami of the Lagos Business School, the pandemic started as a health crisis and rapidly morphed into a humanitarian crisis. As families lost their members, including the main breadwinners in some instances, this in turn led to an economic crisis as people lost jobs and businesses and whole industries collapsed, leading to a societal and security crisis of epic and global dimensions. The main forces that led to the rapid spread of the pandemic were globalization and technology. Even before the pandemic, the country was experiencing serious economic downturn. This is the reality of the world that you are entering into. Again, I say, step forward, courage, and not trepidation. I congratulate you and evoke the words of the late great educationist Tai Shulani, who famously told all his graduating students, may your road be rough. You have received an excellent education from Caleb University. Now take that education, which has given you the essential background for success, and go out into the world. Pally those skills, Pally leadership is not about position. Leadership is not about your age. Leadership is not even about your degree in the world. We are all unique and peculiar and different, but you were born to be a leader in the sphere of life that God has put you into. Now how will you do this? You probably think this is just rhetoric and motivational talk. No, it is the truth. In your own corner, you can become a person of influence, and the more you develop yourself, the greater your influence will be. Again, how do you develop and grow? First, you must have a vision for yourself. How do you see yourself? What problem do you want to solve? What sector do you want to play in? All this requires careful reflection and thought, and usually cannot be arrived at hastily, but thoughtfully and carefully. A vision is very powerful as it concentrates your mind, allows you to avoid distractions, and sets you on a path that you have yourself defined. Next, you have to build the mindset and understanding of the world and the recent disruptions that have changed life and living as we know it. People have consistently referred to a new normal. And people talk about post-COVID. Personally, I don't believe that this post-COVID world is anytime soon or that it will ever happen either. So I hope that is good for thought that you require to thrive in this new world? What are the characteristics of the sectors and individuals that thrive despite the pandemic? Because some people did thrive. Some sectors did thrive. Some industries thrived. Some companies thrived. What were they like? The people and organizations that thrived were flexible, creative, willing to think differently, able to look for opportunities despite the havoc wreaked by the virus, people with empathy, skilled at imagining, designing, and creating scenarios, people willing to work with others in diffuse, flat organizations where leadership was sincerely shared, as well as people and organizations that built intentional communities for yourself, for themselves. In other words, people and organizations that were innovative. So again, I say, take your innovation and parley it. Take your education, parley it into something greater than even you think you can achieve. You must you understand that you are no longer competing with your classmates, but to negotiate a bit on each one of these. The first mind is a disciplinary mind. This is not just talking about you as a disciplined person, but as somebody who has a discipline. I think this is your degree, the degree that you are being awarded today. Whether it is in economics, whether it is in medicine, whether it is in business administration, this gives you credibility and a depth of knowledge and mastery indeed of a professional craft or a school of thought. But it's not enough. But before I go on to the other minds, on behalf of all of you, I thank your teachers, your lecturers. Uh, nobody came into the world knowing medicine. 
Nobody was born into the world knowing economics. You had to be taught by a teacher. And so all your teachers from primary school till now, and most importantly, your most recent teachers, your lecturers, who put in their best, who taught you, who brought you work, you have nurtured and grown our future. You have not worked in vain, for I know these ones will make you proud. Well, it's not enough to have a degree. You now need to add other minds, skills that you must arm yourself with. Because the university has done its bit. They're giving you this body of knowledge. They're giving you this professional craft. Now you go on and develop yourself. Because the next mind is the synthesizing mind, where you are able to integrate and bring together ideas from a broad range of disciplines and even events in order to solve problems, build scenarios, communicate with clarity. All this means that you must be lifelong learners. You are lucky that you live in the time of the internet whose formidable power you can use to grow capacity in multiple disciplines and schools of thought. So even though you are a doctor, even though you are an economist, I know doctors now who make cakes. I know doctors now who are into medicine, uh, who are into music. I know doctors now who are accountants. So that discipline has given you a, a, that craft. Like I said, it has given you the credibility to go out and talk and, and, and make a difference. But now you have to turn that degree into something. And one thing is the national Hi, Professor Elijah Ayolabi. With the values and attitude that will contribute to the advancement of society. You are leaders. And what are the characteristics of leaders? I want you to think back as you are sitting down. Think about it. And remember any great leader whose legacy was sustainable and long-lasting. Not just a leader for a brief moment, because like somebody told me some time ago, Adolf Hitler was a leader. But don't forget that I said a leader whose legacy was sustainable and long-lasting, and you will recognize certain commonalities. The commonalities of integrity, vision, focus, humility, empathy, hard work, tenacity, collaboration and team playing, flexibility and open-mindedness, knowledge and wisdom. Remember the fourth one. Never forget it. Humility. This is a short list. There are many more characteristics and commonalities and I suggest that you read as many books on leadership that you can because there, are, there really are many. Read the best ones. And since this is a Christian university, I think I can say with all sense of sincerity that the number one book for me on leadership remains the Bible. And one of my favorite books of all is Nehemiah, who for me embodies many of the skills above. The integrity, his focus, his vision. He went to build a wall. He had a vision. He went to solve a problem. Remember we said you are innovators. He went to solve a problem. And in doing it, he exercised the greatest integrity you can imagine. Remember all the people who were against him. Remember his tenacity, his ability to rise from difficult situations and still solve the problems. Remember his empathy. He understood all his people, broke them into teams. Those who were, but remember that they were alert. They had focus. As they were working with one hand, they held their weapons in the other hand. And what are your own weapons? I strongly suggest you look into Ephesians 6. So out with your vision for the future, you now need a plan. Again, this must be thoughtfully derived and must tally with your vision. Remember that you must be flexible, as the journey of life is usually unpredictable. And I'm not of the school that tells you that you will not have problems. Yes, you will. Like Tai Sholari said, may your road be rough. Yes, it will be rough at times. But if that is where you bring to the fore your strengths, your inner strength as a person, as a leader. The courage and sincerity of purpose you will overcome. And at times, you need to change your trajectory. You are going this way, you thought that was where you were going. Something could happen and you will have to change. But stay true to your principles because there are some things that never change. Your inbuilt principles will never ever change.
Now, we've talked about these mindsets and they require that you be an innovator. And remember the title of this paper, To Your Education Add Innovation. For each one of those minds, we require you to be an innovator and to start thinking differently about your life and career. No one owes you a living. Don't forget that. No one owes you a job. You have no, no you cannot tell anybody, I'm, I'm finished now, you have to get me a job. No. No, nobody owes you that. You are now an adult. You are set out in, you must set out in life and chart your own course. You must now intentionally and deliberately craft your own life. Craft your own community, your own career, your own success in life. Build your own village, including mentors, thought influence, up to you to use the talents that you have been given. I now charge you, please go forth into the world. Add to it innovation. Let the world be different. You have nurtured these young ones from childhood to adulthood. Congratulations as well. Now it's time to let them go. And let them build themselves up. Don't do everything for them. Let them be who they were meant to be. That's right. Let them go out and be great innovators. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To present their good messages to the Vice Chancellor. On behalf of the Foundation for Vocational Education and Development in Nigeria, of which I, Dr. Ambassador Dr. Godnose Igali O.N., and of which I'm President, and many other international development organizations, of which I'm board member, we are happy to congratulate you and felicitate with you on your appointment, well-deserved appointment, as Chancellor of the Caleb University in Mota, Lagos. Congratulations, sir. Thank you very much. And all the management of the university, as well as the students, on this happy occasion of their 10th convocation. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. On behalf of... My name is Ruti Magyai, Vice Chancellor of the University. I wish to, on behalf of my university, congratulate Caleb University on this occasion of its 10th convocation. We are delighted to associate with the university. We pray that God Almighty will continue to propel the university to greater heights of success in Jesus' name. Congratulations once again. On behalf of the Council, Senate, Management, staff and students of the University of Ubadan, we'd like to extend fraternal greetings to Caleb University in Motai, in Lagos State, as we celebrate the 10th anniversary of the establishment of this great study of uh, learning. We wish them every success in the coming years, and we'd like to also congratulate the students who are coming out of this university during this period of uh, COVID-19 pandemic. We wish them every success in all their future endeavors. We know that there are challenges in the world out there, unemployment, uh, unemployment, underemployment, and related issues. But we know that with the kind of training you have uh, received at uh, Caleb University, the world is under your feet. We wish you every success as you leave the university, this university and uh, face the greater challenges outside the four walls of the institution. All the best wishes from the University of Bali. Thank you. This is Olari Waju Adikunfagwa, Vice Chancellor Lagos State University. On behalf of our university, I heartily congratulate the Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, staff and students of Caleb University on this occasion of your 10th convocation ceremony. 
the Lagos State University is very excited and proud of her relationship with your institution. It is our delight to join you today in celebrating the graduates of today and we congratulate them, their respective families and friends. A lot has been invested in you to prepare you ready for global competition. We believe in you and we are assured that you will continue to push for excellence. The fact that we are not able to physically gather to celebrate you does not diminish in any way your achievement. We heartily celebrate you all. Congratulations and best wishes. My name is Olai Rewaju Adigunfagun, Vice Chancellor of Lagos State University. On behalf of our university, I heartily congratulate the Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, staff and students of Caleb University on this occasion of your 10th convocation ceremony. The Lagos State University is very excited and proud of her relationship with your institution. It is our delight to join you today in celebrating the graduates of today and we congratulate them, their respective families and friends. A lot has been invested in you to prepare you ready for global competition. We believe in you and we are assured that you will continue to push for excellence. The fact that we are not able to physically gather to celebrate you does not diminish in any way your achievement. We heartily celebrate you all. Congratulations and best. Hi, Professor Elijah Ayolabi, Vice Chancellor of Mountain Top University, the only university on top of the mountain. Bring warm felicitations from Council, Senate, entire members of staff and students of Mountain Top University. On this occasion of the 10th Convocation Ceremony for admission into fourth degree, award of higher degrees and prizes and confirmation of honorary degrees of Caleb University in Mota Lagos. I congratulate very warmly the Chancellor, the Council, the Senate and the entire academic community on this auspicious occasion and indeed all the graduates for being found worthy in learning and character after years of rigorous academic activities. I'm aware that today, the university is turning out graduates in all NUC accredited programs of the university. I'm also mindful that of this number, some are in the first class category. It is my hope that the university will offer employment to these graduates as a way of building its academic staff capacity. As we transit into the world of works, I urge you all to apply the knowledge acquired to become useful citizens of Nigeria and create jobs for yourself instead of looking for salary jobs that are becoming competitively difficult to get. As alumni, I admonish you to hold the ideas of your university very dearly, contributing positively to its good name, brand, and development. I wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. Congratulations to you all. Thank you and God bless you. I fully invite the Chairman, Board of Trustees. Commitment, industry, forthrightness, and an elder statesman like no other. As proprietor, through promoter of one of the best private universities in Nigeria, the Edwin Clark University, Kiabodo, who's vice chancellor? Chief Edwin Clark knows where the shoe of managing a of the vice chancellor, the principal officers, members of Senate, indeed all staff of Caleb University for steering the affairs of the university so ably. And Adebogun, whose contribution to educational development in Nigeria cannot be matched. He stands out, as noted by the National Universities Commission, as an example of a proprietor who does not interfere in the day-to-day -day running of the university. Nigerians, thank you, sir, for your investment in Caleb University and the lives of the leaders of our great country who will be products of our university. We are indebted to you for your continuous and timely financial support to Caleb University.
This has contributed immensely to the current rating and improved academic and infrastructure development in the university. It's our earnest prayer that God will reward your labor of love. Chancellor, today we track record of academic and moral excellence. As you all know, 10 is an important number. In Genesis 1, God gave the Ten Commandments first month, as was Jesus, the Lamb that takes away the sins of the world. The ten of the seventh month is also the holy day known as the Day of Atonement. Ten is also considered as a complete and perfect number. As such, ten signifies the 25th of September 2020. Chief Dr. Edwin K. Clark. All protocol observed. My graduating students, I congratulate you all for passing out of this university. You, have, you are leaving this university, which is very reputable, for a long time now. It's over 10 years. This university has been sending out students. So this has a record. And for you to be part of this university, mm. learning is not enough. You might maintain good this uh, COVID-19 all over the world, not in Nigeria alone. You'll be faced with many difficulties. You'll be tempted to do things you don't want to do. Because the jobs will not be ready for you. You have to be more time. The students who have passed out over five years, they've not got a job. Be patient. Who we'll paid your fees? And have that in your mind from time to time. You cannot get everything at the same time. So, once again, I congratulate you to, to be ambassador of this university wherever you go. Thank you and God bless you. higher degrees. The Chancellor, sir, the Dean College of Postgraduate Studies, we now present the persons whose names are listed in the brochure having fulfilled the requirements of the statutes and regulations of Caleb University and having been found worthy, both in character and in learning, who have qualified for higher degrees of the university in the 2019-2020 academic session. The Dean College of Postgraduate Studies, Professor Teju Shomari. With the graduates, a Chancellor, sir, in the name and by the authority of Senate, I have the honor to present to you those students of the College of Postgraduate Studies who have successfully completed their Master of Science degree in Architecture, Economics, Computer Science, Accounting, Master in Business Administration, the pioneer set in Master in Business Administration Translation and Postgraduate Diploma in Mass Communication and Computer Science, those present and those unavoidably absent, and for whom I, Professor Tedrisho Morin, stand proxy to be admitted to the higher degree of Caleb University. of the graduating students of the College of Postgraduate Studies. You can find them in the university brochure, pages 28 to 29 and page 30. But I will quickly read the first names 
The PG, PGD Accounting, we have Adeumi Abisola here today. MSc Accounting, the one with distinction, the overall best graduating student is Akilalu Olubenga Samuel. Others are Abiodun Samson Oluwashiun, Akinwale Oluwada Milari Zakaria, Poebu Ariola, Akinola Ola Dapo Matthias, Alabi Abiodun Ifeayin, Amol Tomiwa Samson, Emerson Monday Emerson, Ewa Anthony Idemudia, Fagbemi Johnson Olubemiga, Fakule Babatunde, Ola Moyegun Paul Oyedele, and Shola Ajileye Oluwate Adekunle Moshut. Others are Adeogu Michael Boyega, Ashaju Okpayemi, Bolushemi Rita Moronkeji, Igbene Orisetimei, Lawa Odile Juliet, Olusada Molisola Omalola, Oluwa Makinde Jeremiah Boluatife, Onoderu Abraham Dayo, Onomade Akitunde Olaniyi, Osage Erese Valerie Nosakre, Oyawoye Olumide John, and Saint Joby Onyolua, and the others from parts of the names listed from numbers 14 to 61 of your project of the program. Then for PGD Computer Science, I have Asambe Kwazim Olajuo, Ayodele Gabriel Tosin, Babawale An Shijuade, Jimo Abdul Karim Olani Waju, Nikoro Orire Julia Oluwa Tosin, Orabelema Onegi Ofori, and also Paul Boluwaji. For the MSc Computer Science, the one with distinction is Ola Ola Soji Olumuiwa and the best graduating student for computer science master's degree. The others are Abiodun Mojisola Idowu, Adenaike Ibukun Olufumilayo, Adeniron Izikel Olushegun, Agbaje Isaiah Olawale, Ajiboye Abayomi Adebayo, Durosimi Adekule Izikel, Famu Iwa Kolawale Samuel Abiodun, Lofimaki Damilola Ayomi Posi, Nosiru Adegbenga Musa, Inwidobe Gabriel Nonu, Oji Michael, Oloyede Ogulano Deborah Damilola, Olukomoro Olubenga Sunday, Udemba Chukudi Anthony, and then move to MSc Economics. The one with distinction is Imadoge Ojeka Ode Joseph and Olapule Taiwo Oyetokwe. I move to MSc Finance. The one with, with distinction, Aruwa Aisa Yuzu, Esine Eke Bidemi, Oluwasheun Daniel Simeon, Popola Motorayo, and Aroge Martins Isibo. For PG International Relations, I have Ekoma Don Ehioye, Osaku Chimi Mena Ada, and Udo Christiana Adoi. For PGD Mass Communication, I have six names. Ali Balogun Omolola, Awojide Ayo, Tade Morire, Diela Esther Oluchi, Folani Yetunde Mary, Oji Helen, and also Elijah Adura Bemi. For MSc Mass Communication Distinction, I have Oluwabu Sayo and Ojifo Promise. MBA Administration, MBA Business Administration, I have 14 names. Achi, Adeton, Adebola, Adebola, Adeinka, Adedayo, Adesonya, Fumi, Afori Jiku, Folake, Rachel, Akidime, Oko, Omo, Patience, Omo, Folashade, Precious, Chuku, Peter, Chuku Maker, Ezefula, Innocent Dallas, Ibagbe, Maria, Nyonjuade, Jesuni, Omo Nyoluwa, Mokboluwaga, Ono Wudi, Uchena, Ogechi, and Osage, Osiaremene, Amenagon. For MBA taxation, I have 
Abola rin, ade joke, ayon bola, ekba yemi, kike lomo ruth. And the best graduating student for MBA taxation is Ibiba mi, Suzanne, uluwa toye si, titi loye, uluwa shola, biodun. And the others are Abadumi, Ayobami, Omoyola, Abdurrahim, Abdurgani, Olangri Waju, Abdurrahim, Tobi, Abubakar, Abdusalam, Meridia, Kainde, Adedeji, Kainde, Isaac, Adelaja, Okwayemi, Olubumi, Adeniba, Bayo, Victor, Adeniro, Olajimoke, Temitokwe, Adeni Yi, Aderonke, Usayo, Ajayi, Kainde, Joel, Akonbi, Said, Oluwa Toyin, Akonde, Abdukazim, Alabi, John, Jesu Toyin, Alaya, Sarafudini, Musa, Alebi Oshu, James, Olatilewa, Awodu, Moshud, Bolande, Ayeni, Olubukola, Olaitan, Baba Jamu, Olan Rewaju, Bolan Rewa, Michael, Adedinon, Buhari, Zulu, Kanaini, Ele Goja, Yetunde, Fahintola, Fashino, Korede, Moses, Kolapo, Olaniyi, Olayemi, Mayaki, Aishat, Zuba, Moid, Bashirat, Ajoke, Musa, Lukman, Sabi, Obadei, Juliana, Adekweju, Ogunshaye, Matthew, Adeyemi, Oladejo, Ayomide, Kudrat, Omolaolu, Tomi, Elizabeth, Onobanjo, Obafemi, Wahab, Salami, Kazim, Tokwe, Samuel, Oluwakemi, Bolawa, Sheyi, Olaore, Aino, Modupe, Suleiman, Said, Olatunji, Tejumola, Grace, Olumayowa, Yusuf, Isa, Aloba, Yusuf, Miriam, Jumoke, Zubai, and Zubairu, Baba, Mohammed. Vice Chancellor, sir, these are the names of the PG postgraduate students for the 2019 2020 academic session. Thank you, sir. By the authority vested me as Chancellor of Caleb University, Lagos, I admit you all. By the authority vested me as Chancellor of Caleb University. Admission to first degrees. The Chancellor, sir, the persons whose names are listed in the brochure having fulfilled the requirements of the statutes and regulations of Caleb University and other various colleges. I hereby invite the Acting Dean, College of Environmental Sciences and Management, Dr. Ladi Podari Ibel, to present the graduates from the college. The Chancellor, sir. Will all the graduates in the College of Environmental Sciences and Management please stand and remain standing? Our Chancellor, sir, in the name and the authority of Senate, I present to you the following candidates, those present and those unavoidably absent, for whom I stand proxy, whose names appear on this list, who have successfully completed their bachelor degree program and who have been found worthy both in character and in learning to be admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Science BSc in Architecture of I'll read the first class the first class graduates names Anose Namdi Christopher Okubule Omolara Abiodun Rahim Musilu Adisa Lagos I admit you all by the authority By the authority vested me as Chancellor of Caleb University, Lagos, I admit you all. By the authority vested me as Chancellor 
of Caleb University, Lagos, I greet you all. Bye, Dr. I hereby invite the acting dean, College of Pure and Applied Sciences, Dr. Olutola Bob Shoele, to present the graduates from the college. Of Pure and Applied Sciences, please stand and remain standing. I present to you Shewaje Oyinda Mola, Anri Waju Farouk, Adeyele Oluwa Tobi Stephanie, Aduloju Ireto Miwa Antonia, Jangbadi Karen Ochua, Unwoko Bia Esther Ifeoma, Obaseki Gino Izengbe, Owa Bumoa Iyola Oluwato Biloba Ibilola UKJ Microbiology BSc Physics with Electronics Obaze Catherine University Lagos I admit you all but I admit you all but Social and Management Sciences Dr. Ulumi Walamade to present the graduates from the college With the graduates in the College of Arts, Social and those unavoidably absent real programs, and who have been found worthy in character and learning to be admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Science, BSc in Accounting, Banking and Finance, Business Administration, Economics, International Relations, Political Science, and Mass Communication graduates in each of the Misu Balkis Damilola. For Lami Ajibola students graduated in the first class degree, Ayodele Bere, Ogwere Adamaka, Oputa Vanessa, BSc Criminology and Security Studies, Aye Ayem Imabang, BSc Colonel Omoye, and Otumba Mary Temita. Ogure Ene Onasi Divine, Ogunleye Debora, Department of Mass Communication, Omosa Okwemipo Elizabeth. And finally, the Department of Adigo Kiadiemu, Ola Ulua, Kuti Omobolanle Miriam, Onwe. Asian or Nome. Lagos. Graduates who have excelled by the attainment of academic and other distinctions in the 2019 2020 academic session for presentation of prizes. University Prize Postgraduate Degree. The most outstanding students in the College of Postgraduate Studies are Ashaju Akwayemi, Nawal Odile Juliet. University Prizes, first degree, Goshen David. <laughs> College Prizes. The best graduating student in the College of Environmental Sciences and Management is Okubule Omolara. <laughs> graduating student in the College of Arts, Social and Management Sciences is Egurube Ene Onazi Dizine Divine. Endowed Prizes. His Royal Majesty of Ajibade, back close to Mutu Goshen David. Mutu Goshen David, please step forward if you And David, Joshua Aedu Prize for the best, gradu best graduating students in the Department of Microbiology goes to Oluna Ekicho, goes to Okubule Omolara. Professor Ekundayad and Lawal Odile Juliet. The Amtra Venture Prize for the best graduating MSc students of architectural and management science overall best based for the overall best students and best graduating female students in the department of best graduating Watosin Prize 
for the best academic performance in advertising media persuasion goes to Shobanjo Olaide Miriam. Professor Oshit Ibibami Susan Uluatis Christopher. Professor Osita Abu Pride Sunde Kajogola Prize for the best graduating postgraduate students goes to Asha Juapoyemi and Lawan with a CGPA of 4.5 and above is awarded by the President of the Students' Representative Council and Student Advisory Council. Sima Prize for Best Student in Management Accounting goes to Umubuya Sandra. Excellence Prize for Best Student in Accounting goes to Ibrahim Adamu. New Horizon Excellence Prize for Best Student in Architecture goes to Adama Moses Kolo. Departmental Prizes. The best graduating students in the Department of Computer Science is Owa Buoma Iyola Emmanuel. The best graduating students in Physics and Electronics program is Obazi Catherine Asagwegbe. The best graduating students in the Microbiology program is Olunaike Jesu Lolua Ayomide. Best graduating students in the Biochemistry program is Michu Go students in the Department of Architecture. Is that too is a tie, Asha Jokpoyemi and Lawal Odile Julet. The best graduating students in the Department of Computer Science is Ola Ola Soji Olumuiwa. The best graduating student in the Department of Economics is Ima Dogemu Kingsley. The best graduating student is Yemi Adeniyi John. The best graduating student in the Master's in Business Administration Taxation Program is a tie is uh, Adeyemo. The best graduating students in the 2019 graduating class. I only stand on existing protocol. My name is Mitu Goshen David, and I feel very honored and that seeing erudite scholars, seasoned administrators, I would like to begin by congratulating my fellow graduates for achieving this once in a lifetime milestone. Today is a turning point in our lives. Irrespective of the COVID-19 pandemic ravaging the world, you still made it true. Though most of you are not here physically, still, you should be proud of yourselves for this feat. It is worth celebrating. A popular Chinese proverb says, and I quote, the journey of a thousand miles begins with but a single step. Three, four, five years ago, we took the bold step to start a great academic career here at Caleb University. Here we are today to take on new frontiers. As we mark the end of our three, four, five years journey, as the Jansit sets class of 2020, I want to thank God Almighty for his enabling grace that has made us to witness this day. Without him, we are nothing, and only by his grace. I appreciate my siblings for believing in me and trusting my progress. To my sister Zoe, my aunties and uncles, standing before you right now, I feel fulfilled in all imaginable aspects. I have had a good taste of it all. Thank you, Caleb University, for accepting me as a student and making me what I am today. My journey in Caleb University started a few years back when I came for admission inquiry. After I made the inquiry, However, as God would have the educational system in Nigeria, we both agreed that it was financially challenging to train a child in Nigerian universities, especially the private ones. When I finally alighted, she gave me her contact number and said I should call her. On getting home, I called to thank her for the lift. A few minutes later, she called back to say she of God's grace favor and mercies. Here I am standing before you all. Dear graduates, I strongly believe that whatever we set our minds to achieve, as long as we take actions and do not procrastinate, nothing can stop us from achieving it. 
a big shout out to my colleagues in the Department of Biochemistry for the love shown to me, the teamwork and the understanding B, of biology and cell genetics, Professor Adu of Biochemical Pathways and Metabolism, Dr. Akin Binu of Biochemistry, Mr. Bakare of Inorganic Chemistry and Thermodynamics Calculations, Mr. Woyoku, Dr. Adewusi, Dr. Oyeyola of Organic Diagrams, Dr. Mrs. Adeyemi of Seminar Reviews and Paperworks, Dr. Bob of Organic Chemistry, Dr. Desonya of Analytical Chemistry, and many others. To my able head of class, Latifat, none is compared to you. Adeola, my day one partner, who painstakingly took it upon herself to brief me on all I needed to know and do as a new student. I can never forget you, Oyinda, and Praise, who took our time to explain area of biochemistry. As I represent you all today, I say a big thank you. Sincerely speaking, I could not have achieved this feat on my own. To Alaya Joseph, SRC president, the brotherliness we shared will never be forgotten. We read together, we ate together, we stayed in school late together, we took injections for malaria together, we used the library together, security men chased us around together while reading late in school. Thank you for connecting with me, Alaya. Listen me to my friends at Caleb University. Susan, my support system, for you solar my relaxation clause, Travis, my brother, Ayoldi, Nike, Emeka, the computer guru, Iyola, the webmaster, you all know yourselves. The memories I have with you all will last for a lifetime. I love you all. Special thanks to Dr. Charles, to my late pastor, Reverend David Eta. I know you can see me up there in heaven. You are a father and a role model to many, myself inclusive. I am sure you will be proud of me up there. Thank you for your prayers, love, guidance, and counseling. There was literally no problem you could not attend to, even when I had admission related issues. Only to my fellow graduates, prove beyond reasonable doubt that we are ready to face the world. This is a great milestone for all of us, and it is just today we leave this noble institution as better individuals, not only because we possess certified graduates in all ramifications. Just as Larry Ringet said, knowledge is not power until it is implemented. Therefore, as we begin and principles gained during our years of study in this institution, up to strive other to achieve, to achieve greatness, let's be proactive by picture depends on what we do in the present. Let us not allow the fear of failure to prevent us from grabbing opportunities. Let's give all opportunities our best shots, silencing every voice of I can't do it. Even when opportunities do not knock, let's build doors. Even though we therefore let's keep trying till we triumph. Just in set of 2020, I am proud of you. We are the best. We are rare gems. We are product of hard work, diligence, character, and morals. To be frank, the best years are very much ahead of us. We alone can determine how we want it to be. Therefore, let's go out there and show the world the stuff we are made of. No one is stronger or better than you. No one can limit you. Yes, I know the world out there is competitive. What are we? Competitors. As long as we never give up, we will always win. Many a time on great days like this, we look outside for heroes to emulate. But for me standing here, I see heroes in each and every one of you. Many of us do not know the value of this, of this great institution wherever we go. By being in you all with these words, by wasting church ill. Success is never final. Failure is never fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Forge ahead, guys, for God and humanity. Thank you.
Lead me to my destiny I have waited patiently I have vision though I believe I know I can count on me So stand up for the champions For the champions Stand up, stand up, stand up For the champions, for the champions Stand up for the champions, for the champions Stand up for the graduands. I respectfully invite the visitor, Prince Dr. Oladega Adelowo Adebogun, ably represented here today by our honorable council member, Reverend Olusho Gabadejo, to pray for the graduands. Let us pray. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you done. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Thank you, we appreciate you, we exalt you, we magnify your name. In the lives of these graduating sets, in the lives of the parents, in the life of the university, the life of the Management, in the, in the life of the visitor, the pro chancellor, the chancellor, and all that have contributed to the growth and development of this university, may your name be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray to this graduating sex as your death. Amen. As you graduate today, you will not graduate into it. Oh, it shall be well with you. Do great things. Amen. You will manage great things. You attain great height in the mighty name of Jesus. The governor, the centers of this nation, it shall be well with you in Jesus' name. It shall be well with you all the days of your life. Everything you lay up night, you will enjoy the grace of God. You will enjoy the favor of man. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Thank you for the. Accordance with. The extant honor of inviting Mr. Chris with the grad In accordance with the extant law of Caleb University, I have the pleasure today, Friday, 25th September 2020, as part of this convocation ceremony. Will all graduates say after me? Hi, put your name. Hi. Solemnly pledge involved in the formation of alumni associations of the university. Please sit. Announcement. Kindly note that at the end of this announcement, the Chancellor will, will be invited to Close the convocation. After the rendition of the national anthem, which is the second to the last item in the program, we shall all keep standing. It remains. The Chancellor, sir, I now have the pleasure to request you to declare the convocation closed. I the <laughs> Chancellor, sir, I still stand on established uh, protocol. We have come to the end of today's event, and distinguished ladies, this is for the closing prayer. I will invite the university uh, librarian in the person of Mr. Josiah Adeyomoye. We are grateful, oh Lord, Lord hallelujah, for all we are. We are indeed very grateful to you for the sake you. We thank you for those, you have, those far you have taken Caleb University. As we are getting to the end of the program, we pray that you grant us joining masses back to our different destinations. For the students, we pray that they succeed in all their, their endeavors. They should excel in all their careers in Jesus' name. For the parents, we pray that 
you will I mean in good health eat the fruit of your labor in Jesus name for Caleb University the university continue to make progress in Jesus name blessed be your holy name in Jesus name I pray that the national anthem the Caleb University anthem please Thank you. 